Malachi, it was said, it was said tonight, and you just have to look at the look at the cup itself to see the names on it. You know, how honoured are you to, to finally get your name on that? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose when you have players, probably like Stephen McDonald and Andy Malin, you know, big jars and stuff is on at some at one stage as well. Like, you know, your counties are very lucky to to, to be on the be on the cup as well. And I suppose last year I have a lot. To, um, I owe a lot of credit to the boys I played with to give me the chance to get on it. So I'm lucky enough, I just had a good year. And, I'm on it as this stage. We say you were lucky enough you had a good year, but already after two games you're the probably the standout name. Yeah, well, it's the early days, you know. It's a young team. Maybe I'm just a couple older boys standing out because we're a bit older and we are we sort of a bit more experienced than the younger fellas and uh, maybe that's just showing in the first two games but um there's a long way to go yes for the rest of the league. I can hopefully that uh, this team grows with more confidence and, and, and picks up more points as we go along. Well, with a long way to go, a good result against Mayo. I know you may or may not be playing, but a good result against Mayo and your aspirations for the year change entirely. Yeah, well, I suppose like players at the start of the year, like we, we heard the rumours like we're, we're going to struggle in Division One. If you look at it, probably could have been just. Kieran, personally it's been a great year, club wise it's been a great year, maybe not so great in ending, but for you, how, how does it feel to win this award? Oh, it's great, great to win this award here tonight, like it's probably five years hard work, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my age, but uh, yeah it's great to get an individual award, like and you know I couldn't really possibly do it without, I know it's no cliche without the team to have with me, like you know it's, I only do the end product but they're working hard out the field, like getting the ball into me, so I probably do the handy part, just kick the ball over the bar, so probably dedicate this here probably more so to my teammates than to me like so it's been it's been nice now there have been some great performances but this year for you and in the championship especially but what's really stood out for you what performance uh, I know people is probably going to think that the county final is probably my best performance but probably as a team and probably myself is probably the semi-final against Kalevi a very strong Kalevi team that when the chips were down with five or six minutes to go, we were two or three points down and managed to kick on and pull it out in the end. So probably the semi-final more so than the final was probably, well, I'd say my best performance and probably the team's best performance all year. One final question, Kieran. What age are you really? Um, 22. <laughs> now, first of all, you know, to win Player of the Year, how does that feel? Uh, very good. Actually, very surprised. You know. Division we were in last year was a lot of good players, so sort of it was a bit of a shock. But again, happy like the yeah, amount of work we put in. As I say, we got promoted this year, which was a big team effort as well. So any one of the team could have got it as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's a bit of a surprise, but a welcome one too. You say individually it was a surprise to win Player of the Year, but as a team, was it was it a surprise to get promoted, or was that something you were aiming for, or expecting? Um, I suppose two years ago we were about mid-table, so pushing on from there we thought we were going to get up to the top half. Now, got new management in, changed the structure, changed the training and um, seemed to work for us a lot. We went the first half of the season unbeaten, didn't lose a match and then um, pushed on the second half and then come the end a few of us picked up injuries so we're sort of struggling a bit. And we maybe got a bit tense at the end but I think with the performances we deserve to be there, yeah. And this year coming, you're in Division One, you are mixing it with the with the big boys now. What's your, I suppose, what, what's your aspirations to stay in the division? With it? No, I wouldn't agree with going into the division to try and stay in it. You know, um, I'd be going there to try and take on the teams, push up, try and get up as high as we can, and then push it on a bit more. This will be my second time in Division One. Uh, we got promoted when I was like 18 on the seniors, and we went up, and it was our goal to stay up then. But I think that's the wrong way to look at it. I think if we push on, we have the players there to push up mid table, maybe push on even higher. Then. Now, St. Peter's, you're part of St. Peter's team. Uh, you got promoted. You're such a young player to win to win Division Three Player of the Year. You know how does that fit? 
Uh, yeah, well, it's brilliant, so it is. But, uh, I didn't expect it, but sure. Happy enough, uh, well. Uh, and, you know, as a team now, he's playing it's Division 2, he's playing, and what's your, what's your aspirations as a team this year? Um, we're, we're hoping to definitely stay up and be in the top half anyway of Division 2 this year. Uh, we played Intermediate Championship this last couple of years, six, so we should be well fit for it. And we've been training well here for the last couple of months, so we'll be hoping to do well, get a good start in Division 2 this year. And uh, Championship-wise, what's the, what's the aspirations? Uh, just take it as it goes and hopefully build up a bit of momentum towards the championship and with a tough first round draw against Shane O'Neill so if we can get past that we'll just take it from there game at a time New division aspirations individually must be I could play of the year again Aye, <laughs> uh, why not?